What's up guys, this 50 has bringing you something different. I'm gonna attempt to bring you a trading video, just share some of my basic tips for trading because I know a lot of you guys, well a few of you, are struggling to make any coins on FIFA 13 and if I can make a profit on this game, surely you can make a profit now. I never used to trade until towards the end of FIFA 12 and that's when the market was more or less dead and now I've started to trade at the beginning of FIFA 13 and everything's very different to make profits pretty straightforward. Now I'm no expert trader however I do feel I have improved on my trading ability so let's get into this. Rule number one is learn the player values because when you come across a play in the auction and you see a good buy it now price, you should know instantly whether that's a bargain or whether it's not. So if I asked you what is the current price of Jibril Cissé in the BPL, you should tell me 3 to 4k, that's the answer. So it's vital you learn the player values, especially the players that you're going to be trading with. That's one of the most important things in trading. Now there's two ways you can go about it, you can check the ultimate team database which gives you a rough estimate is not entirely accurate especially with the prices going up and down in today's market or what I do option number two is put a bunch of the players in the watch list and then just work out the average price that they sell for um, I just discovered that the other day and it's helping me a lot so that's what I suggest moving on to golden rule number two find a few players to trade with now in this video I'm going to be trading with CSA Ramirez Gaston Ramirez of Southampton, not the Chelsea Ramirez, and James Milner, who's very popular. So all three players are from the BPL. I am building up a BPL team, so it only makes sense. The BPL is a pretty popular league. Um, I do only trade with gold-carded players. I'm not really into bronze or silvers. Just never got into that. I leave that to other directors. So go find a few players to trade with. You can copy these players. I would recommend going other players because I want to make a profit myself you know only kidding sharing is caring I know you guys are probably too lazy so you'll probably just use these players that's fine with me there's plenty of profit to be made within us and my hardcore kebabs on to golden rule number three and this is something I have to do more myself I never really done this I'm a pretty much a safe trader I only purchase a player if I know I'm gonna make profit I tend to make profit of a thousand coins on each card. I don't really try to do too much. Um, but buying bulk and selling bulk, and that's going to equal big profit margin. So go buy five James Milners. Go put them all up for sale. What I do is I buy one Milner and I sell him. Then I go buy another Milner and I sell him. That's not the best way to make profit quickly. Just buy a bunch of them, sell them as a bunch, and you'll make way more profit in a shorter space of time so let's get into some trading Gaston Ramirez one of the few center forwards in the premiership so he's kind of popular just for that reason and I purchased him for 2700 coins gonna go for a quick 1900 profit and let's see if he sells by the way guys something pretty important is there's EA tax a lot of you guys probably are aware of that however as a noob you probably wouldn't know EA take 5% tax of every single player that you sell. So if you sell a player for a thousand coins, EA are gonna take basically just divide 10% into two, which doesn't sound much. However, especially when you sell the more expensive players, the EA tax does come into play way more. And I got Doombia over here, um, recommended by a fellow Machine My Sports Director, Alex79162482. Probably do a few dual comms with him pretty soon. As you see, Dribbler Cissé actually sold also, made a profit on him. Ramirez, I've sold so many of Ramirez and James Milner's, they both sell like hotcakes. Very popular players, and I recommend you go try that out or find your own, it's way more satisfying. And we're gonna move on to some more trading here. And we've got Demba Bar over here. Now, I haven't actually traded with Demba Bar much. Um, I'm gonna go for a cheeky 2000 plus coin profit here. I purchased him for 7100 as you can see. Let's put him up for 9500 and let's see if he actually sells. What do you guys think? Profit or no profit? That should be a new series idea. And here's your answer. He actually sold pretty quickly. Easy as you like. 2000 coin profit. 
how many games of FIFA would you have to play to make 2,000 coins? I'm not too sure. But um, trading is pretty addictive, I must admit. However, don't spend too much time trading. You do want to actually play a few games of Ultimate Team, don't get me wrong. Um, the best thing would be to put a few players up for trade and then go play a few games. And that way you're going to maximize your coin intake. And here we go, James Milner, the English midfielder who's barely getting a game for Man City surprisingly and yet he'll probably walk into the England team and that's why England always do rubbish half the players are not even getting first team action for their club teams and I make a lot of profit on James Milner I have actually purchased him for my BPL team and over here right I'm actually buying in bulk well I call this a bulk for me it's quite a bit of three players of James Milner's and I'm going to attempt to make profit on every single one Purchased one for 5,100, which isn't really a bargain, but any profit on that would be I'd be happy with that and then I got another one for 5,200 Which is even worse I'm gonna attempt to make over a thousand coin profit on each and every single card And if I do that, I'm happy. That's an easy quick 3,000 coins purchased one for 4,500 so slightly cheaper so the profit margin should be higher um, I have actually purchased James Milner once for 3,700 so hey you can get an even better bargain at times and let's see if all three Milners actually sell and here you go my software kind of failed so um, I'm gonna have to screen pick these sales all three sold overnight whilst I was sleeping in bed dreaming of kebabs these Americans on the other side of the world were bidding for my James Milners and they all sold thank you very much this video helped you if you didn't I'm sorry but give me any constructive criticism on how I can improve this mini series let me know if these tips helped you please leave a like as this video did take a bit of time to put together and maybe I'll bring more in the future do you guys want more leave a like and support this video I'll catch you next time go make that profit and I'll be joining you latest